harm to the people who come up here. You are terrible. What is up? It is time for another crazy ass adventure. Guys, you can see me. I'm sitting on the steps here inside a stairwell that leads up. That was my phone. That leads uh, to upstairs to an attic. Now, I'm sitting in a commercial building right now, and I'm going to spin the camera around because you're going to recognize the owner. I uh, uh, have been here uh, on a previous occasion, and this gentleman right here, the actual what owner, up, CJ. Um, has been here a couple times uh, as well, um, but I'm going to let CJ tell you the story um, on why we're here tonight. There's there's been some uh, some activity that has been reported since we have been here, and we're going to come back and do a little further investigation. But right now, CJ, tell them what the hell has happened. All right, so. Um I own a few commercial real estate properties here in Delaware. This happens to be one that has an unfinished attic and it was built back in the 50s, the entire building was. This building was known to be haunted through the years. Um, before I even started YouTube, I was always kind of sketched out to go up here. And um, the building is extremely secure, so you have to have access cards to get in to any place in the building. And even to get to this door, there's an access card that you have to have, and there's only two people who have that card, or access, I should say, to this portion of my building. And that's me, and that is also uh, one of my janitorial ladies, Rose. So she is after hours cleaning, and she was here, it was last Tuesday, it was last Tuesday night. She was here by herself, she's cleaning, and um, when she was wiping down a few windows just outside this hallway here, she thought she heard footsteps upstairs here. And as she kind of like listened in, listened in, she put her ear right against this door, just listened in real quietly and it just sounded like somebody walking right above her. She said that she got chills and goosebumps and just like just felt this weird energy around her. So when she went to open the door to yell up to see if anyone was up here or what have you, as soon as she opened the door, the door slipped out of her hands and slammed closed. She called me freaking out, and I was actually at dinner. Uh, so I just told her, stay calm, get out of the building, yada, yada. Well, uh, you know, we came here, and there was nothing, literally nothing at all. And she watched the door. There's plenty of, plenty of time that somebody could have got out, but she stayed and braved it out and kind of watched the door. And um, yeah, it's always said that this place is haunted and I, I firmly believe it. I personally have not been up in this attic in t over two years. I gave Sonny permission to come and film here about six or eight months ago. Oh. And um, that's when he had the clown move on him. And this is where I keep the clown actually. There is a few objects that are said to be haunted. And I think the clown happens to be one of them just simply because it's a very creepy thing that I bought many, many years ago with my dad. And um, never did anything with it except for keep it up here. So, very weird. <laughs> exactly. Definitely weird, man. And guys, we are in for a treat. If you did not see that video, I'll actually put it uh, uh, down in the description here so you guys can check it out and see what CJ is talking about. We're getting ready to see a creepy clown. We're getting ready to see a creepy attic. Who knows what the hell we're going to capture. But, guys, I'm Sunny Deeds, and it's time to get dirty. Get some What? Would your camera shut off? Yes. I don't really know what the hell is that. Damn, you scared me because you jumped so damn hard. What the hell was that? Alright, guys, so just as soon as. Uh, we get up here, there has been a bang. I got scared, I jumped, and actually my camera shut off. So I I don't know what, um, Jeez. 
Hey, dude, something that I noticed from the last time that I was here, that damn clown was in this window right here. And now the clown is gone. Definitely. Well, the clown's down there now. Somebody been up here? Not that I'm aware. I'm telling you, that clown was right here because I remember the welcome back that was on the window. All right, so that's different. Hey, son, you want a fur coat? <laughs> a fur coat, CJ. I, two things. One. I don't think that's gonna fit me. <coughs> You're probably right. That would, I would need a bear skin. <laughs> that wouldn't fit me. Yeah, no. I don't think I'm good with the fur. If there's anyone up here with us, I want you to show yourself. If you are an entity that is trying to get our attention, I need you to show yourself. If you were the one that was trying to get attention from Rose, show yourself. set that PMB box up somewhere and what we do is uh, put a hard cam up you know what I mean put a camera up right there in front of it mm -hmm. so in that way uh, when it goes off we can catch it that thing just creeps me out what does that box oh I know the PMB box is so weird man CJ is on that side, guys, but I heard footsteps over in this area or something that could have been like footsteps. But what I'm going to do is I want to walk over here to this, uh, this damn clown. Yes, this clown has definitely changed positions because he was not... <laughs> CJ! that was him shutting a door over there but so you know what I thought I just picked up on this he looks a lot like you um yeah no I don't know but <laughs> y'all have a lot of similarities Ooh, you looking up his nose? It's no, dude. Got anything it's good up there? The clown's Is there eyes. Anything good in that nose? Look at his eyes. He's got some nose hairs he needs to trim. I'm not in his friggin' nose. I'm looking at his eyes. <laughs> <sighs> Where I'm walking. This might possibly be worse than being drunk. I think. Let me look up in there. Let me look up his nose. Oh yeah. Look at your nose. Actually, that thing is really creepy in and, infrared. And, and, and look at his eyes, dude. Get real close up on his eyes. Oh my gosh. He's got some uh, blackheads on his nose he needs to take care of. 
You are totally too- Oh, oh shit! What was that? You heard that, right? You damn right I did. There's chairs. All of these chairs. See, you can see me waving. See, this is why we need that PMB box for sure. Man, we had that PMB box up here. I bet you that thing would be going off like crazy. Do you have it? Yeah, it's downstairs. Let's go to this uh, hidden room first. What do you think? And then we'll come back. And look at that. Oh gosh, that's yeah. a death trap right there waiting to happen. A damn rolly tube thing. Step on that. It's worth some ice. That is a huge wrapping paper roll. You see that? Uh, somebody's making some serious Christmas gift things with that. <clears throat> you know what weirds me? Oh my gosh. Dude, swear on my life, I closed that door. Oh. You can literally see in my video that I closed that door. I went over to the door and completely closed it. And that thing is open now. No joke. You gonna get it back? Oh, you're gonna uh, you're gonna hand it over to me. That's the oh, damn shit. I almost fell, dude. You all right? Yeah. All right. You got it? <clears throat> I don't know what I almost fell. Okay. Um... All right, so right now, um, CJ has had to, we are up on the second floor. He's had to step across uh, a rafter or something to get to this weirdly little creepy se secret room. He's calling it over here. I'm afraid of heights. I'm not going to do it because I will fall and I'm not trying to record my own death um, for a YouTube video. So if you guys want to see what is in that room, if you want to see what is in that room, Jump over to CJ's channel, check out his video, and see what he's catching right now. <clears throat> yeah, there's absolutely no way I can, uh, 
I can get across there. But um, I'll take this time right now to uh, the story that CJ was telling about the cleaning lady and hearing the footsteps. Uh, a lot of the time that I was up here, um, the experiences that I had uh, was the clown moving and also heard uh, the same footsteps. I don't know if it was the same footsteps, but I heard steps running down the stairwell and slamming the door. Um, so now we've got a couple different reports of hearing footsteps and things like that up here. I've already heard something over on the other side that sounded like that. We've had uh, a loud bang that happened in the very beginning. Um, as soon as we started recording that I jumped in, I may have shut my camera off. I hope I didn't, um, but it's already, it's already, I can tell you guys that the temperature up here is a lot colder. I just get a weird vibe uh, about this place. And I think a lot of it may be um, just my recollection of what happened the, the time that I was up here. At least this time I've got CJ, but, um, where things are still happening, guys. All right, I got you. Dude, be careful. Witness me shutting that door again. It's shut. Yeah, that's damn sure shut. What, um, what's over in there? There wasn't really much in there. I mean, except for like <clears throat> old paperwork and stuff. And then, um, not to mention just like, damn, something. Oh, shit. Easy. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. I'm telling you, doing this in infrared is like 1,000 more times bigger. I'm going to hurt myself. Yeah, there wasn't much over there except for like just old people and stuff. I say we go and get like the PMB box. What the fuck was that? I don't know, I heard it. Was that there before? What's that? That. Um. There's no way. Yeah, no, because it was it was open. There's no we way through. that was in the middle of this walkway. There's no way. No, we walked straight through. Where the hell did it come from? I didn't even see it up here. I didn't here even see it up here either. I would have picked up on something that weird looking. I would think. Did you ever catch your shadow on the wall and it freak you out? Yeah, I did that over there. That's why okay. I waved myself on the shadow. You know what's weird? Is the whole time that we've been up here... Alright, something smells like shit. Did you fart? No, it literally stinks. Like some of my dog dookie. Ew. Ew. You smell that? Yeah. What in the world would that be? Ew. Ew. God, like, dang. Would the clown fart? This smells like poop. He's holding his hand like he might have dropped a little juicy deuce or something. Oh no. Let's walk through this way, man. I thought we were getting the box. The smell's getting stronger. Oh, there's lights out there. Look. It's an emergency vehicle or something. 
You smell it? It's not. It's not. Oh, oh shit! What the fuck was that? Is there something behind me? Is there something behind me? I can't see. Is there something behind me? I swear on my life, I feel like there's something behind yeah, me. Yeah, I can't see. It doesn't look like it. No. What the fuck was that? That was loud, bro. That was really fucking loud. Was it a door? Was it the door? Or was... I, I don't even know where the hell it come from. I don't either. It just sound, it almost sounded like it was above us. But that's the fucking ceiling. Like, or the, the roof. There's no way in hell. That was violent sounding. Like, legitimately violent sounding. It stinks so bad over here, I can't even handle it right now. Well, why are you still standing there then? <laughs> well, they say if it smells like sulfur, it's got to be some type of like spirit or entity. It, it, in my opinion, damn sure smells like sulfur. Something like a little. Like it was like more of a, like a soft like. Scrape. Mm -hmm. There's that smell again. You smell it too? I promise you, that's not me. It's really not. I'm, I have not farted a single time. Up here at least. Oh. <laughs> I'm serious. You ever notice that when we're like, whenever we go adventuring, we both eat cheese and it just don't settle well with us, cheese or butter? <laughs> That means you're lactose intolerant. I know that, but I love butter and cheese more than anything. Man. You just like farting on spirits. I do. There's any spirits up here with us right now. I need you to make yourself known. What do you think those damn noises are? Well, let me finish. In a very oh. pleasant way, we want to communicate with you. Oh. We want to see why you are haunting this place. Why are you residing in here? Why do you choose this as the place that you want to stay? What if it's like a former employee? <coughs> Sounds like it's What's that? What's over here. Around that corner. This is 
one time that we need a gun. I just feel safer, even though, like, you can't shoot a ghost. But... Okay, I literally was just about to walk into that pumpkin. Oh, yeah, and you didn't were even right know on it. top of it. I'm gonna have to. Dude. I'm gonna have to change my light. Right behind you? No joke, right behind you was like the weirdest. What is that? Where's it even coming from? Dude, I keep catching that friggin' clown and... Oh shit, that was me. That was me, I just kicked that box flag. I keep catching our shadow right there. Yeah, well I keep catching the shadow of the, the clown. All right, so look dude, I'll tell you what, but you was talking about getting the box. Let's go ahead and get that box because I got to change my light. I'm getting right. darker and That's darker. All right. Um, Let's go get the p and box and set it back up here. Yeah. And I'll put a hard cam on it. That way we can capture whatever it is. All right. All right, guys. Be right back. Got to make a light change. Hang tight. All right, guys. So I went ahead and changed my infrared light. Um, now we're back up here. CJ has grabbed uh, some of his equipment that we're going to go ahead and set up here now. One of them uh, being a PMB box, um, which is a, a motion detector auto tune that um, will play when something active or passes in front of the sensor. It is a motion detector. So what we're doing is he's. You hear it? <laughs> it creeps me out too, just hearing that. So where did you where did you put it? I put it right there on that little handrail. Okay. Let Pointing just, towards the clown. Let me just get a shot of it here. Oh, I'm getting ready to fall down here. All right. So it is motion detect uh, motion detector. He's got it aimed toward the clown, and what it does. Yeah, so weird. I, I don't even like the little tune it does. Yeah, no, I think they did that on purpose. So we've got that aimed toward uh, the clown. Also, it's going to catch uh, anything on the stairwell and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and leave that set up. And we're going to go over here in the area, another area. CJ's got uh, dowsing rods. camera right here and I'm going to do the dowsing rods. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> what the hell is that? So uh, these dowsing rods are uh, used to communicate with spirits, usually in a yes or no form. So I'm going to hold these just like so, and if they cross or open up, depending on which one I determine, uh, that be the answer. So um, uh, can you hold my camera too, Sonny? Because it's really not looking all that well sitting right here on this thing. So. Um, Oh, hang on one second. I'm cut and turn your thing up here to make sure I'm not aiming at the floor. Okay. Ooh, okay. Which way looks better on camera? Right here? Or like um, this? I would say turn a little more towards me because yeah. the shadows kind of, if you turn to the side of the shadows, right. you can't see the rods. Okay. Um, let me open this properly. 
remember what happened last time when you don't open this one. This properly. My name is CJ. I'm here with my friend Sonny tonight. We're here to perform an investigation. We're going to be using tools called these dowsing rods. This is what you can use to communicate with us. So, if there's any spirits here, one of you, ten of you, however many it might be, I want to invite you to cross these rods or open these rods depending on the question. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and predetermine that crossing these rods like so means yes, splitting the rods open like so means no. I want to go ahead and start this. I'm going to get these dousing rods nice and level first and then I will begin. Okay, yes being these cross, no being these open. Are you the spirit that is attached to the clown? The freaky clown over there in the corner. Are you the spirit attached to that clown? Okay, use all your energy now. You have to cross these rods. Holy f That's weird. So something with the clown. I've been I've my hands tingle every time I do these, right after I get an answer. It's almost like something's like touching the tips of my fingers. I don't even know. I just don't even like like the. I don't even trust that clown really. I mean, I know it's not real, but like, I have like this fear. Like, I think it's just gonna like come alive and like start moving and shit. It's. Ah, yeah. oh, man, it chills all over my body. All right, what else should we ask? So, all right, like, it says that it is attached to the clown, right? got to be a why but getting a yes and no question to figure out the why is like uh, it's, yeah it's that's tough that sounds like something for the, the spirit box yeah that's definitely a spirit box thing how, how about this how about this how about we do um, do you mean harm yes or no that'd be a, that'd be a good question right? good or evil harm yeah, yeah, yeah remind me to close this session out please All right. Because I never do that, and that's why I feel like we've been having some really bad luck here lately. Okay, let's get these rods. Uh, okay, my next question is this. Do you mean harm to the people who come up here to this attic? I mean, that, that's a clear enough answer there. Yeah, you can't get any more further apart. No. So it means no. So it's not meaning any harm to us, which is good news. It's awesome, actually. <clears throat> just feels like just like a, almost like a shallow feeling up here. I think anything, I don't know if anything bad happened here. There's no story that I don't know. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> well, it's already acknowledged the clown. So maybe the history of the clown needs to where where did that clown come from? Man, that is true. Was it here already in the building or has it been put inside it? Hmm. Damn, that was weird. Are you going to puke? No, uh, I'm not going to puke. I swear, I, 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 it felt like somebody just like went, like not hard, like punched me in the mouth, but just like hit me in the mouth. I'm not bleeding. 
I mean, it wasn't that hard, but it just felt like a lot, of, like a, a lot of force or pressure against my lips. open again. I'm like, there's no way. <clears throat> well, I mean, the p and box has me fall off, which is, I guess, good. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That was a heavy thud. Does that not sound like a man? I don't know, but every time I turn towards you like that, your infrared glares me out. Oh. That's okay, my my <laughs> light's dying again too. Again. Close it out. Close it out now? Don't forget to close it out. Thanks. All right. If this is you making this noise, I want you to cross these rods, and I want you to not hesitate. I want you to come over here. Cross these rods. Oh, shit. I mean, the, the good news is, like, at least it's not, like, evil. Uh, I mean, all right, so let me ask you this. Your opinion. You've been here alone. You've been here with me. What is your opinion? Is it good? Is it evil? Like, I, I you know what Omar told me one time? That spirits also try to manipulate you into, like, um, basically, like, uh, so you ask, like, you know, are, are you meaning any harm towards me or anything like that? And you know what, you know, he says, he made a very valid point that evil spirits are, of course, going to lie to you. Why are they going to tell you the truth? I you see understand. what I mean? Yeah, I can understand that. They're what's lying, your, what's sex your opinion shit. on that? Uh, on being evil? I, I, I don't know, dude. I mean, the whole thing, Rose heard the footsteps, um, the door slamming. The previous time I had been up here, the clown moving, footsteps, door slamming, um, the things that have happened. I mean, it's it's 
there is something up here. I do believe that it may be attached to the clown because I just get a weird vibe with that friggin' clown every time that, that it's up here. But, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know whether I can call it good or whether I can call it evil. I can only go by just previous experiences. And is it something that's just trying to get our attention with the noises and things like that? Um, is it trying to create or do harm? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't been harmed. Yeah. Um, so I don't know and, if I you can. You know, and I, I, I look back on some of our videos that we've done before. Think about this. Like, what if, what if there, are, I mean, every spirit is not evil, first off. But what if it's like a friendly spirit and, because I, I feel like we've run across more friendly spirits, like maybe trying to get our attention or trying to, get just generalized attention more than anything, like an untold story or something like that. I don't know. I believe it. I think things- do. Ow! Woo! What was that? What the f was that? Did a light bulb just fall? What the f was that? Dude, no, a light bulb didn't fall. We'd have heard it. Bro that was heavy, dude. That was friggin' yeah, heavy. I bet you that was that fucking pumpkin. I bet you that was that fucking pumpkin, bro. I swear if I look back on that footage and that pumpkin levitates and slams down, I'm gonna piss myself watching that. What the fuck was that? I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I gotta turn my cell phone off. I can't see shit. Anymore. Dude, close the the, the Dowson rod thing. You still never oh, closed shit. it. Oh shit! I did. I did. Was that that thing? That that. I bet that was it. I don't know. That was loud, like like it would be slammed down. Oh my gosh! Could you imagine if we got that on camera? Did you get that on camera? I don't know. I was pointing that way. I, I shit. I don't know. Holy, that was scary. All right, let's, let's close this session out. Let's just close this session out. All right. Make sure I ain't standing under anything that can fall. Your left heart is beating out of my chest. Yours. Right, that was close. That was so friggin' close, whatever that was. Okay. My name is CJ and my friend Sonny. <clears throat> we would like permission to close out this dowsing rod. These dowsing rod session. Will you please allow us to leave this game, cross these rods? Answer. It's saying no. Yeah. Look, 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 look. That one, but that one just moved to my right, your left. Look at it. Will you please allow us to leave this session peacefully, please? Please, please, please. Cool. Every time I play with these dowsing rods, I'm telling you, man, it literally feels like somebody's just like touching the tips of my fingers and, and like I get chills every time, dude. So your fingers get numb when you play with your rod? Yeah. Seriously, dude. All right, like, like I, you know, I mean, I don't know, dude. That's. I'm telling you, we might have just caught like the most insane paranormal evidence ever. The thing's hollow. Like, there's nothing inside this thing. All right, so it said it would allow us to leave peacefully. Why don't we friggin' leave peacefully? Let's, let's leave peacefully. It's already... It's okay. already... We've got um, your box. Let's go. You got all your stuff? Yeah, I do. Oh, wait, where's the PV box? It's over here. Oh, oh, shit, that's me. Oh, man, that's thank me. goodness that was you. Uh, uh, 
All right, guys, so we are going to go ahead and call it uh, a, a night. Um, we've got uh, enough activity that we've captured on camera to to corroborate. I mean, uh, I was always uh, uh, a believer that there was something with this attic. So I do believe Rose's story about the footsteps in the door have had that personal experience. And plus what we've captured here tonight, the spirit is going to allow, allow us to leave peacefully. So we've decided that we're going to go ahead and do that. We're not going to provoke or antagonize anything any further tonight. Um, but I definitely think that uh, this is a place that we should uh, come back and and see what else that uh, uh, we can find out for you guys right now we kind of think it's something to do with that clown uh, maybe that clown does have an attachment cj needs to research uh, the origin of that clown to give us a little bit of more information but definitely i will say um confirming that uh, there is a paranormal activity that's going on inside this attic and we are going to uh, come back at a later date to try to do a little further investigation to try to figure out if it is the clown um, what it wants or, or what have you um, guys that's going to do it for this adventure until next time stay dirty